This is a common problem in JMO 2024 and AMO 2024. It says point D is selected inside acute triangle ABC. So that angle DAC is equal to angle ACB. So it says DAC is equal to ACB or we can call it C. And BDC, this angle is 90 plus BAC or 90 plus A. Okay, so this angle is 90 plus A. Then it says point E is chosen on ray BD so that AE is equal something like this. BD so that AE is equal to EC. Okay, so we can conclude that E lies on perpendicular bisector of AC. So if we draw perpendicular bisector of AC because A is equal to EC and BD, the intersection is E. So our E is this point and intersection of this perpendicular bisector and this one. Then it says let M be the point midpoint of BC. Okay, midpoint of BC. So let's consider BC to 109. Some point uh, like this one. AE and EM are not. Uh, we can say AM are not collinear necessarily. So we can consider this one midpoint. And then it says what? Show that AB is tangent to the circumcircle of triangle BM. Okay. When a line is tangent. To a circumcircle of a triangle, we can say what? This one. This one. We should prove we know. Here it is alpha, here it is alpha, here it is beta, it is beta. We should prove one of them. So we should prove this one is angle beta or we can extend this, extend AB like the thing I said here. And prove that this angle is equal to this angle. This angle is what is 180 minus B. So proving this one is 180 minus B is better. It's better to not use uh, new angles. So we should prove this angle is 180 minus B. Let me show it with alpha. I should prove why alpha is equal to 180 minus B. Now, there are some things that we should, uh, some lines, some circles we should draw. Why? Here, as you can see, E lies on perpendicular by sector of this. So, we can say it passes through circumcenter of ABC. So, because of this, we draw circumcircle. It can be useful because we see, okay, EN passes through that. We draw, maybe useful, maybe not. Like, functional equation, if we think something can be useful, we should apply that. Okay, at the end, for example, we apply 10. Things six of them are useful. Okay, so if you draw this, let's see what happens. We should prove alpha is equal to 180 minus b. If you prove this, the problem will be solved. Now, here we draw this one, and another thing that can be good. By midpoint theorem, we know that if we have this, and I am also this idea useful. When we have this, it is parallel to this one. And we want to prove this angle is 180 minus B. And we have one midpoint. So if we extend this uh, such that E is the midpoint of this line, we can say it is parallel to this one, EM. So let's extend B, D. So it is what? It is 106, 212. And let's draw this one. So B D E. Uh -huh, we have E, so let's call it F. Okay, now we know this angle is alpha, so we should prove this alpha is 180 minus B. Okay, now if we extend this line, because we know that it is angle C, okay, and uh, if we extend this, we can say something about arcs. Extend what? Extend AD to intersect our circle. Because this angle is C, if we draw this one, we can say this angle is also C. Okay? And we can also connect this to this. CFG, HI. Let's consider this one as J. So, what can we say here? This angle is what this angle is B. Because of this. 
This angle is uh, the whole part is A. It is B. And this angle is what? This angle because this is 180 minus 8. This and this are 180. So it is B, C. So this one has to be A. Because this equilateral, this uh, quadrilateral, some of the angles should be 360 in this quadrilateral. Now, well, let's see what are the other angle chasing that we can use. One thing here that we can pay attention is this is alpha. We want to prove it is 180 minus B. It is B. So we should prove JDFC cyclic. So it is equivalent. When you want to work on a problem that is a bit hard, try to work a bit on assumptions, a bit on the sentence of the problem. It is equivalent that JDFC is a cycle. And I told you four rules for proving a quadrilateral is cyclic. Let me paste out four rules or what I told you for first problem of uh jmo we use this one for jmo problem one now here we want to see which of them is useful because here we are working on angles and uh, these two things can be useful and uh, we use one of them we want to prove this plus is 180 which angles are good because it is 90 plus a we can say this angle is what 90 minus a so if we connect f j it is not, it doesn't, we should check it, but we cannot consider it passes through M. So let's consider something like this. Let me change M a bit more. Okay. And uh -huh. this line. Okay. We should prove J1, if it is 90 minus A, uh, we should use second rule, okay? We should prove why J1 is 90 minus A, okay? It is equivalent that J1 is 90 minus A. So we know this angle, this angle was A, right? Because we said if we consider this cyclic quadrilateral, it is B, it is C. This plus this is 180 because it is B, it is C. B plus A plus C is 180. So because we know this is A, if we want to prove J1 is 90 minus A, so we should prove, let's call this point uh, K. We should prove why K is 90 degree. Okay. K is 90 degree. It is equivalent if it is 90 degree. This line and this line should be parallel to each other. EN is parallel to. F J, okay. Now we can extend E N, and as you can see, we know it is A. It is B. It is C. So this angle is also A. So these two lines are parallel to each other. Also, we said E is midpoint of this. So these two lines are parallel to each other. Also, you can conclude. Uh, you can draw M N, and M N is parallel to A B. All parallel lines. Let me write it here. Mn is parallel to AD. All of them by midpoints theorem or Talus's theorem. Then what can we say here? We want to prove it is parallel to this one. So uh, we prove it is uh, parallel to this one and this angle is A, this angle is A. So we can say all things are symmetric with respect to this line. Okay. It is, it is what? An isosceles trapezoid so if we extend en we can say these two figures are congruent it is 90 parallel it is 90 now we know because it passes through it is perpendicular by sector of ac it is also perpendicular by sector of bj so this one one two three four they are equal. So let me write it with other colors. This is equal to this one. Now, again by midpoint theorem, we know B is equal to EF. It was the way that we've defined F. So we can say what here? We can say, let's call this point KL. Okay. 
we can say because it is equal to this one, BE is equal to EF and BL is equal to LJ. So this line is parallel to this one by this point, midpoint theorem, or Thales' theorem. So we can say this line is parallel to this one. So we can say K is 90. Okay, it is parallel to this one, K is 90. So J1 is 90 minus A. So JDFC is cyclic and alpha is 180 minus B. So let's consider the ideas that we worked on. First idea, this cyclic quadrilateral mm, symmetry that we call, so, okay, all things are symmetric with respect to perpendicular basic of AC. Midpoints theorem, obvious thing. By similar triangles, you can prove it. And it is a special case. We know if this over this is this over this. It is equivalent that these two lines are parallel to each other. And angle chasing, all these things. Okay. So, if you had any question about this problem or wanted to solve more similar problems, uh, as I said before, feel free to send message my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, you can try this. There are some ideas in geometry, and for example, one of them is to how to create equal angles to find cyclic quadrilaterals, like this problem. Okay, so try this one as homework one. This IMO 2019 problem two. If you wanted to solve more problems or want to learn more ideas, as I said before. Feel free to send a message, my WhatsApp number in the description.